We were talking today about sacred monotony. This idea of doing these things that we do every day and they become our practice. Like the, the, the master archer who goes out every day and practices until it becomes effortless. It's no longer, he is no longer present. The beginner's mind is a wonderful mind, they say, because the beginner's mind is really the mind that has arrived. Because the beginner is always present. They, because they're so worried about getting it right. If you watch a beginner driver, I love when I drive by these schools, you know these driving schools? I love watching these people learning how to drive. They're usually about 16 and they're in there and they're just, they're so present because they have the beginner's mind. You see, after a while, they, they, like everybody else, they're falling asleep at the wheel, right? They go from one place to another and they don't know how they got there. But they've done that trip so many times because they're asleep at the wheel. The lights are on, but nobody's home. This is most people. We're somnambulant. We're sleepwalking through life. We're not present. We're not present in our meetings when we meet each other. We go through the motions. We shake the hands. We don't really hear the names. When I lived with the Bedouin in Mauritania, one of the things that really floored me about some of the Sadiqin amongst them, one lady, and, and a very dear lady to me, she was the wife of my teacher and she died a few years ago, Maryam Bint Bueba. And I wrote a, uh, a piece about her called Another Mother of the Believers. Maryam asked me when I first arrived there in 1984, she asked me if I had family, and I, and I said, yeah, and she said, what are their names? And I said, well, I've got, my, my mother's name is Elizabeth, and my father's name is David, and my brother's name, I have two brothers, one's name is John, and the other is Troy, and then I have four sisters. I have Kathleen, Patricia, Elizabeth, who's now called Nabila, and Mariah. And I didn't think anything of it. I left, after I left that period, I, there were 10 years before I went back. When I first saw Miriam, after 10 years, she said to me, Kifa David. Kifa Elizabeth. Kifa John. Kifa Troy. Kifa, Mariah, Patricia, and she named all of my family. <laughs> and it just, it just really, it was such a dagger to the heart because I realized <laughs> she wasn't just asking to chat. She wanted to know their names and she internalized their names. And 10 years later, she could recall names that she'd never heard in her life because they're not Arabic names and she only knew Arabic. And I, I was just so stunned, but she was a present human being. She did dhikr all the time. That was her life. She spent her life serving the students of that place. She knew every name of every student that ever came to that. And Gray, uh, Aisha met, met her and, and, and remembers her, you know. She, she was present. And, and this was from practice. This was from just the monotony of, of every day working on your presence with God. Because when you're present with God, you're present with the creation of God. You start noticing things like the wind in the trees. You start noticing the subtleties of everything that's around us it becomes real. Muhammad Sayyid al-Kawlayn wa al-Thaqalayn wa al-Fariqayn min urb wa min ajami Muhammad Sayyid al-Kawlayn wa al-Thaqalayn wa al-Fariqayn min urb wa min 